Hey everybody, it's Amy from Magic and Light Collection. Today we've been working on an image and we've been running through start to finish with the uh, Portrait Magic skin actions. We've smoothed the skin, we've highlighted and contoured, added blush, under eye concealer. Um, if you'd like to see any of those videos, then you can just go back and um, check those out. The next thing that we're going to learn here is the lipstick and the lip gloss actions. These are really great and they really, really make the lips pop. Um, without being unnatural. So let's get started. The first one we're going to go with is lip gloss. So I'm going to select it and press play. It's going to take a minute. This is kind of an advanced action. Um, so we've got brush on lip gloss and brush on extra shine. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and zoom in to the mouth and you want to be pretty precise with this. So um, the brush on lip gloss is not going to have any color attributes to it really, just uh, it's only going to create a, kind of a, a glossy shine uh, effect. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have a white brush selected, brush tool with a white foreground color. I'm going to take the brush opacity up to 25% um, and I have the layer mask selected. Then I'm just going to, with a small brush, brush over the shiny part of the lip right here. You can go a couple times if you think you need to. Okay, we're going to do brush on extra shine and we're going to take this opacity down pretty low. Just brush over it a couple times. We do want this to look pretty natural. This is way too much, but the reason um, I'm showing you this is so that we can look at the lipstick action. So we're just going to choose the lipstick action and press play. Okay, there's two layers with this, red lips and sweet red lips. Um, this is going to be much redder and sweet rosy lips are going to be a um, little bit more subtle. Let's just choose the red lips. We're going to select the layer mask. Looks like we've got about 8% opacity on our white brush and we're just going to brush on this lipstick. And we're being really careful. Um, let's take it out just a little so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, let's toggle off the red lips, see where we're at. That looks really great. Um, and then let's just toggle on and off the lip gloss layer. I think the lip gloss layer looks okay. Extra shine. Might be a little bit too much. What I really like to do is zoom way out. I feel like I can get a better picture of what it actually looks like um, with the image when I'm zoomed out. So let's to toggle on and off there. It's too much. All I need to do is select the layer and then uh, run down the master opacity. What I like to do is take it to zero, take it back up a little until it looks reasonable. I think that that looks reasonable to me. Let's take a look at the before and the after here. That's before, that's after. And actually, um, we could probably brush on just a little bit more on the lipstick if we wanted it to be dramatic. Always make sure that you're keeping it natural unless it's some, whoa, unless it's um, some kind of commercial photography, fashion photography, then things can be a little bit Older. And you know what, guys? I'm brushing on the wrong layer mask. So I'm just going to step back, make sure I have red lips selected, and then bring it on just a little bit more. All right, let's step back. And take a look. That's before red lips and after red lips and I think that looks pretty good. That's before the total effect 
and after the total effect. I hope that you found this helpful. You can find all of our products, including the Portrait Magic Action Set, at www.magicandlightcollection.com.